I will say this about Nigel Farage. He has obviously struck a chord with huge portions of the electorate, and that's because, I think, not just his views expressed as he's expressed them are aligned with many peoples and that he's identified some of the key problems that voters care about but also because he is the very opposite uh, of of the other two in, in terms of what we talked about before he's not robotic he doesn't seem overly scripted he's not over managed over directed he's comes across as very natural and I think in that respect that's also something which works very well as a politician you can just go out meet the people talk with absolutely anyone say things without thinking thinking too hard on what your messaging was from, from head office. The guy speaks his mind, yeah. and I think that his mind is quite aligned in many issues with, with many, many other people. So I think that's something that the other parties could learn from. And his influence has been as, as possibly the most successful politician of our generation, despite yes. not being an MP. Yes. I think his influence has always been as a campaigner and as a protester, in a way. Uh, and he's somebody that's pushed us to the point where we're no longer in the EU. He's responsible for us having the Brexit referendum. He's partially, if not largely, responsible for Leave winning that referendum. Uh, he now wants to be responsible for some of the decision-making, or pressure at least on the decision-makers, for how we reform Britain having left the EU. It's not been going very well so far, and I think that he it plays a very important part in our politics, even from the position of an outsider. So certainly I, I'm not dismissing him as a politician, but I am dismissing him as a political force in Parliament. I am dismissing reform as a political force in Parliament, and quite rightly, because so many of the candidates, for one reason or another, are problematic. I couldn't, for example, even consider voting for the reform candidate in my constituency, having read that she said that people who'd had COVID vaccines were behaving towards people who hadn't in a way that was akin to the Holocaust. Right. It's just a good example. Yeah, that's a bit of a red line, isn't uh, it? Of, of how, you know, these yeah. are... But, but how do you make a party in this system uh, where you put up enough candidates who have enough useful experience that could be translated into being parliamentarians when that party didn't exist not that long ago, yes. and nobody who's standing for election, or very few, have ever been in Parliament in any other respect.